Oh, can we get that? Yes! Great job by the Bazooka. Killing the squad that was housing the half track, removing its veterancy. Hello everyone, this is Grayshot117 doing a CO2 replay post-patch, so here's hoping the duct tape stays together and keeps this machine going. Uh, we got a 2v2 on our hands, with Fields of Winnenook being the map of battle. On this map, we have Ice Hour in Big Daddy Black coming in as the allied players, USF and Soviet respectively. While we got Not Aiden and Shinobi Warrior as the Vermok slash OKW players respectively. So, hopefully this turns out to be a great match for everyone to start off their Sunday morning, or possibly end it depending on the time zone. For me, I'm starting it, and, uh, you know, ho yeah, hopefully the rest of Sunday goes well. Here's hoping. Anyway, we got his basic stand-up. Oh, MG, Engineer, Grenadier, Shinobi going with the same Kubel. Uh, again, this map is a little bit open, so that the Kubel is a little more effective in its combat proudness. On the allied side, we have a standard double American, Rashlon, and as well, Big Daddy has gone with a multiple conscript build. So, But he has built his support weapon, Gabanya, which is a little bit interesting. Usually, that would make the assumption that he's going to be deploying an MG next on the doctrine. On the docket, sorry. So I would expect an MG to support. Um... Otherwise, he just would have pumped out a bunch of conscripts to really uh, just outmanned the enemy in the beginning. First battle may be coming up on the right with a Volk squad from Shinobi engaging a rear echelon squad. Hopefully, we can get some good battling going on between the two. Rashlon is out of cover, but Volk squad turning away, actually going after a bigger prize, some riflemen. Now, the riflemen's trying to capture the point the best they can, but alas, two enemy opponents, especially close range. East is going to push him back, and will do so. Storm Pioneers going on in with Volk Squad trying to grab the point. And it looks like, yep, the Rifleman will be easily pushed back. Engineer Squad coming in to uh, help? I don't think that's going to help. I, I, I don't think that's helping. So, yeah. Grandier Squad now engaging the Conscripts. Again, oh, we have a Mortar instead. Interesting, Big Daddy. Interesting. Now... Also, good job with the cutoff. Again, Big Daddy's seeing an opportunity here, and while the enemy did grab the fuel point and is grabbing additional points over here, unfortunately, with this point under Soviet control, the Vermont cannot get resources in the sector. Great move. But um, we can see here the same can be said for the other side, as we have Shinobi Warrior trying to cut off resources from Big Daddy. Again, Big Daddy and Ice Hour are again doing a pretty good job, respectively. But again, I like to see the, these tactics. Grandier Squad now on fire. You know, just slightly on fire. Shinobi Warrior going with Overwatch Doctrine. So hopefully we get some good Goliath plays. That would be nice. MG opening fire on the Conscript. Pushing the squad back. New MG coming up onto the table. Alright, Grandier Squad actually survives. With barely any health, he's going to grab that point. Very nice. In this other side, we have Ice Hour capturing the territory. So resources will be coming in on both sides, respectively. Um, Rifleman now pulling on back. Interesting. So Kubel barely alive trying to support. Rifleman might be trying to finish him off. Volk Squad gets in the building. I mean, there's three windows there, so it's okay. Oh, bad pathfinding for Shinobi. Wait, hold on. Oh my, I was going to say go here so he doesn't get shot, but no, he survives. The Kubel's a badass and lives to tell a tall tale. Grand Ears are now back in mid. Uh, whoever's on left bolted out of there real quick. Let's see, more additional forces coming in on right, trying to put this Volk Squad in its place. Wow, Rifleman really low, retreating. Luckily, it looks like he will get out of there. He goes Captain, so we're going to see... Okay, interesting, interesting. No, uh... No, no light tank rush, or at least by the American. What about Big Daddy? Big Daddy is yet to do anything like that. Shinobi is yet to go a building, and yet to go tier, uh, like a tier 2 building for the Varamok. A big battle going on right now with multiple Volk squads engaging each other. Rifleman only firing with one guy, so yeah, that's not going to be quite as effective. I don't know why you're getting in and out. 
I guess he's just trying to delay as much as possible. Whatever the case may be, that delay did not pan out all that well. And forces are pushed back. Nice fire. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Is that fire? Or is that a grenade? Was that a normal grenade that he threw against that? That bounced off the, the side of the building and hurt himself? Sure. He's like, I'll chuck it through the window. Throws it, bounces off the wall, comes right back at the rifleman squad. All right, we have uh, a suppressed squad of conscripts burning some grenadiers. Squad runs through the fire and possibly burns one of it, their models alive while doing so. I'm assuming there was an MG. No, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, an MG was supporting, suppressed them, and with the consistent fire of the grenadier squad, kept them suppressed. So, okay, not too bad. Anyway, MG setting on up to flank the Maxim. Maxim now going to be torn apart as it's... Uh, Gun is facing the wrong direction. And, uh, yeah, good job with the MG42 on that one to absolutely dominate the enemy with that flank. Now, Grandier's opening fire on the mortar. Pushing that squad back. Kubo's still barely alive. Can we get this Kubo some heals? Please? Please? I think my chat would want heals. Just saying. All right, let's see. Fire grenade pushed him out of cover, but Captain repositioned himself, find good cover, and has continued to open fire upon the Volk squad. Now, uh, luckily, wait, is he get back in the fire? He's actually taking damage from the fire. He's in the fire. Yeah, there we go. He just realized he's in the fire and gets out. Big Daddy Black went Soviet shock army, so heavier infantry as possible. Plus, with his conscripts, you can get PPSHs, which is exactly what he's doing. So, yeah, there's a lot of areas on this map that you kind of spring up. I mean, there are some wide open areas, but there's a lot of areas you could theoretically ambush. With close range infantry opening fire via the conscripts, that could be a real nuisance for a lot of the German players. Especially this unfortunate Great Ear Squad that may be fighting it. This 222 is trying to support, but Great Ear Squad's like, no, I'm not having it, and tries to get the hell out of there. Meanwhile, on the far left, we got a Soul Engineer squad grabbing territory. Rifleman and Volk squads duking it out in a major battle right now. Trying to do what they can. Volk squads having a rough time, and Kubo kind of backed himself into a corner. I don't think the Volk squad's going to win this battle. AT grenade on effect to Kubo. No! A lot of infantry being pushed back right now. American forces, though da uh, slightly down, are not out of out of it yet. Now, by the way, they are getting an M1 on the field while there's a Luke's about to deploy. So, again, Axis may be like, I'm going to one-up the Americans. And then the Americans are like, we've already one-upped you, boy. You just, don't haven't, you just don't know it yet. Let's see, two American squads going on left. Although a mine could finish off a squad. Wait, hold on. Uh, no, the other squad's going to hit it. One model remaining. I'm um, trying to see if there's anything on his retreat path. I don't see anything. So, he will barely live. And again, mines will usually inflict two models per squad. Now, if a squad, if there are two squads on top of each other or more, they could activate the mine and still be affected by it. But, alas, we didn't get a we, uh, four models dead uh, from that single mine. We do right now have a Jaeger squad coming into play. Okay. Again, upgrading with his special rifle could be an effective uh, means of support for the frontline troops. And they need it right now because the Americans are doing a very good job at trying to take a lot of territory very quickly and hold it. Again, population-wise, still pretty close. The Germans do have a slightly more, especially with the new Panzer II on the field and coming straight up. But I, we, And again, the 222 is on the field, but if we're talking about pure firepower, even with the American half-track coming up, this thing is absolutely going to be the strongest armored unit on the field right now that but although even though he's going to be the strongest armored unit that doesn't mean he's going to be uh th he's going to dominate the play because the americans all have at grenades again this isn't patched yet but they still have the at grenade available they have an at gun the soviets i'm assuming yeah they have an at gun they have at grenades they are more than capable of dealing with light armor they are totally fine in this situation to deal with an armored threat uh, Panzer 2 now opening fire. No models dead yet. Volk squad's coming in to reinforce. We got the M1 trying to reposition, but luckily a flank by Shinobi's going to throw him out of this game. Hashtag going to suppress the Volk squad, but can he get a Panzer Faust off, or will he just kind of move in there to die? I think he's just going to die. Run, Shinobi! Run! Or Ice Hour. Kill him! 
Kill him proper. And yeah, he's gonna kill him. That Volk Squad's dead. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Volk Squad. Pay attention. Although, to be fair, he's probably focusing on the troops on the right, which is why he unfortunately missed that. If I, if I have to give a reason. Usually, with micro, you can only focus so many areas. And unless you're a pro player, like... Uh, I, let, let's let's just rattle off. Love Nest, USC, any of those guys from the tournaments I cast are currently active right now. You're really not good. It's more difficult to go around the map. American Forces trying to get the heavy cover. Panzer 2 is going to have a rough time if they do get in cover because it'll take less damage. Actually, funny enough, Panzer 2 is actually hurting the Egger squad, forcing him back. Friendly fire, my man. Friendly fire. Does get a model, but the infantry is right now fine. A T gun is decrewed, but luckily our rifle squad is coming in to assist. The Soviets have been pretty quiet on the left front. Not in a necessarily like it's not I'm not I don't know whether to make heads or tails of it. Again, it seems like they're just busy elsewhere. It seems that as you can see right now, he's trying to help out his ally on the right. And it seems to be working. The rifleman have completely collapsed Shinobi. And with his Panzer II retreating, the right side is open, which leaves the munition point open, the fuel point open, and the star under American control, at least for the moment. Again, we'll see how long they can hold that point, but it's a nice little win, because even if they're not grabbing the territory on left, they are doing such a good job on right that it, it kind of helps even things out. And things are pretty even, though the Americans do have a bit more fuel right now than the Axis. Oh my god. When a Panzer Grenadier squad is given G43s and the Conscript squad with... Uh, oh my god, yes. Good bundle on the door. For, and he might be able to pick him off with the G43s. And the 222 comes in to help and they take out that squad. Very nice kill. Now Big Daddy though is wielding a lot of manpower. So he could bring that out in a massive uh, force that could really overwhelm the enemy. With Again, so we'll, we'll see what happens. It, it would be a shock. It would definitely be a shock. Now, smoke going out. Get around this MG. 222 coming on in to try to support. Mortar comes in. Great shot. Down to very little health. Shock troops might be able to kill him. Even though it's a little bit longer range. It's still enough damage that, yeah, he gets him. Now, he's going to move on over. Again, that unit. If you, Every time you lose it, you lose that veterancy and everything building up to it. 222 trying to help fight the shock troops. Shock troops don't care. They're trying to hunt down the Grenadier squad right now. Might be able to get one more model, I would say. Probably not think more. 222, love it. Runs into the shock troops to prevent them from firing. Now, let's see. What do we have left? Stuka on the field and a Goliath. Very interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to see I want to see things go boom. And I'm sure you guys do as well. So I'm really, really hoping this uh, Goliath can do some work. Really hoping that that... Can you get some good American kills? Because right now, Shinobi needs something like that. And there's plenty of good cover opportunities over here in the lumber yard, etc. They can hide that little sneaky bomb, have it go off, and immediately blow up the enemy. So I'm very, very hopeful for that. 222 opening fire against the shock troops. AT gun about to open fire again, but luckily, 222 gets out of there in the nick of time. So again, good support. Luckily, it looks like Big Daddy is bringing out more men. He still has plenty of manpower and fuel, so unsure what he's saving up for, unless he's going with like an artillery focus. Could be interesting if he does, just because of the fact that an arty focus would be... Uh, I mean, if he puts it out, to be honest, he could easily hit this base anywhere on the map. The map is small enough. Nice Molotov and a good flank by the Conscripts. Constantly running circles around not Aiden's defensive line. Um, again, sometimes not Aiden's able to, to play to that advantage and try to, to neutralize them. But unfortunately, uh, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of stack points are having a rough moment. But luckily, there's this MG bunker here preventing a cutoff from happening again. So again, good defensive tactics there. An American advance on right, and we have the Grand Deer Squad trying to move on in. Panzerfaust was fired. AT gun moving on up. Uh, unfortunately, it's not enough to really kill it. A T-Gun is decrewed. That might allow the Panzer II an opportunity. Alas, it is currently knocked out. Stuka's prepping to fire, though. Hold on. Are you going to hit the half-track and maybe the AT gun Rifle grenade fires. Misses target and has to retreat because of rifleman fire. Stuka, though, is firing. He might be trying to go for this and hit the half-track, too. Hold on. He does hit the half-track. And the AT gun, but that was uh, not a great hit. Only one model killed, very little damage. Also, Rakan were from the field, so good job by Shinobi for having an AT as well. 
I think not Aiden has one too, right? Yeah, not Aiden has a pack. He's also getting a Panzer IV. Panzer IV could be really, really opportunity, a uh, really oper uh, good pick at this moment, just because of the amount of infantry that is on the field, they need something. Now, of course, the Allies have AT guns, and looks like they're even getting some heavier stuff, like heavy mortars and a lot more infantry. So yeah, big, big Daddy's bringing out the big stuff, but. They themselves don't have armor, so right in the, the Panzer IV could do enough damage in the meantime, and especially use the the sight blockers such as the shrubs and the force to kind of aim at targets that the AT guns can't really target right back. Stern Pioneer is coming on in. Bad move because of all the infantry right now. He's going to be quickly torn apart. Yeah. Um, also, the Goliath is currently not hidden, so that's a problem. I don't know what his plan was here, but luckily Vet 2 Stern Pioneer squad does manage to get out of there. Bad move. They can see that coming a mile away. It's more of an ambush mechanic. You can't just have a charge. You can't take that many hits. It's not like a Sturm Tiger that can really take all those shots and fire and then get out of there and be fine or a Brumbar. You have to be a lot more cautious. American forces are pushed back. Panzer IV coming on up. Grenade on the retreat gets a couple more models. Not bad. At least it's something. Panzer IV doing damage. AT gun is out, actually. Hold on. Where was that AT gun? I don't know. But the Soviet AT gun is gone. Oh, okay. It's back here. It got decrewed, I guess. Panzer IV having a field day. Again, the M1 has to reposition itself and come on over. We have some strike coming on in. Is this a major? Major using artillery on the MG, forcing a couple squads back. Very nice. Very nice. Again, uh, right now, it is slightly leaning toward the Axis right now in BP. So they're doing a really good job at uh, currently uh, keeping the enemy off the points. And even with the, the Allied possible advance on mid, they're still doing rather well with a over 100 point lead. So they can take a little bit of time to reorganize and come back. Again, BPs can be your uh, detriment and an ally, depending on how many you have. You have 100 ahead of your enemy, you have a little bit more time to be cautious. You have 100 less than the enemy, you have a little more. T you have a little bit less time to make uh, critical and sometimes foolhardy mistakes that lead you into a spiral till, well, you go down. Speaking of which, looks like the Germans won't have to worry about that because they're grabbing the right. So even if mid is captured by the Allies with the right under their control, it's still going to be ticking against the Allies. So really good maneuver right there. Grandier's trying to push back the Echelon squad and conscripts as well. With the Grandier, Pan's Grandier squad trying to hold. Trying to stop the conscripts, I'm assuming, from going after the AT gun. But no, Molotov on the Pan's Grandier squad. Gets a good hit. 2-2-2 two, two, two coming on up. Vet 2 with 15 kills. I haven't really talked about this thing too much, but this thing has been a beast on the field. Providing support when needed. Again, sometimes your best weapon may not be the most powerful, but the one that can come in every time you need it. The most reliable, I should say. Grandier squad is the closest with uh, 16 kills. And Pan's 4 is only at 2. Uh, shock troops have seven. The mortar has three. This conscript squad, I'm gonna say, say has six. I'll find out in a second. Ice has 16 kills, respectively. 12. Uh, getting a mortar carriage. Interesting. Conscript has 12 kills right now. And hold on. Now, uh, sorry. Shinobi has 14 kills. Yeah, 14 kills is the highest kill count right now. Anyway, 2-2-2 opening fire with the AT gun moving on up. Plane might cause a little issue because of the cover. It might actually hit the plane. Hopefully it doesn't, but you always have that possibility with some type of cover between you and the enemy. Anyway, Panzer IV going against the shock troops on left. Hits the cover, unfortunately. Shock troops going to take the point without taking a scratch. Now they're going to start taking damage. Oh no, the wood actually took two shots for him. Good job. <laughs> great, great, great shots, man. Grandier squad pushing on A against all the support weaponry, the AT guns, the mortars, slowly pushing them back. Conscript's trying to come in to help out, and actually it's weird how he's not upgrading to like a seven-man squad or possibly having a PPS um, H equipped conscripts. Uh, not Aiden went Lightning War, so it's weird how he did that, because, uh, well, actually no, it's not weird. He gave two Grandier's MG42s and two of them uh, G43s. I, I, I thought it would go one way or the other, but I guess he wants one that's a little more stable, one that's a little bit more maneuverable. Grandier Squad, Vet 3, taking some hits. Uh, did Faust that and is trying to get out of there. Should be fine. Mortar carriage coming in. Hold on. Stuka firing. Oh, hits her a tree path. Great shot across the board. And it's the half track. 
So good job there by the Stuka. Getting hanged troops that can't retreat. A little bit of a dick move, but at least you got the kill. MG uh, being torn apart by the Grenadier squad who had to retreat, and also specifically the 222, and now the Panzer IV. Moving on in, M1 trying to come on over, Panzer IV trying to deal with it. Again, it's a little mixed results with a Panzer IV versus an AT gun head on, but it seems as if he'll be able to get out without the M1 doing too much damage to him. Half track is being repaired. Now, I'm curious about this mortar carriage because I'm assuming he's trying to kill the infantry. But it's like, alright, why would you get a Sherman? Because you have the resources for it. I mean, this is good against infantry, don't get me wrong, but uh, your Shermans also can take on the Panzer IV and the 222, along with dropping smoke. And in this map, smoke can be really, really good for your troops if you're advancing. I mean, yeah, the mortar carriage is fine, and it can also do some similar stuff, but you can't fire and drop smoke. It's usually one or the other. As far as I know, it's one or the other. I, I want to say if you fire this, like a mortar, you can't fire the mobile smoke. Well, the Sherman's a lot more, uh, has a lot more utility to it. Again, it'll be fine, and hopefully it can start racking up the kills like it's designed to. Almost hit the Great Air Squad there. MG opening fire. Left side, we got Shock Troops trying to grab territory. Panzer Great Air trying to intercept. Um, what do we have back here? So he's already gotten up to uh, his top tier base. So already tier 3. You know, pay Heavy Panzer Corps are operational. Yagpanzer by Shinobi Warrior coming into play. Very good counter to armor. And again, now we're seeing a Sherman on the field. And besides, you can probably snipe the mortar carriage from afar, among other things. The s 5s on the field, so a good counter. Looks like the allies are actually pumping out a lot of armor very quickly. So we could see some very, very interesting plays here. Uh, with the allies coming in with a lot of armor very quickly against the Germans who may not be expecting so much. Especially since they haven't really seen the allies do all, uh, well deploy a lot. Again, Suka kind of not doing great. Doesn't really kill target. Target still escapes. Volk squad trying to ki help kill the rifleman squad. Oh, so Dodner now on the field. Looks Again, he lost the Volk squad from a little bit earlier. I'm trying to keep track of all the frontline troops. Over oh, Kenwerfer was stolen. Oh my god. Good job, Ice Hour, stealing that. I didn't even realize Shinobi Warrior lost that little uh unit but he did he absolutely did now with the sherman coming in shinobi looking pretty weak on the right meanwhile t34 trying to hit that grand air squad on the retreat he might be able to hold on oh uh, nope i thought i was going to do a little bit more but he guessed the, I, that will not be the case at gun still in range panzer 4 moving on in uh yep fires to the panzer 4 like what are you doing buddy Meanwhile, right hand side looking open for an American attack. Rifleman trying to grab territory with the Sherman. Although not explosive rounds, a little interesting. He's not switching. But I think he might just keeping that on because, yeah, about he's worried about other armor. Sherman backs on up. Okay. Yeah, okay, so he, it is. It's it's you can fire one or the other, not both. Anyway, uh Goliath is now on the field, so new new little guys on the field. Hopefully this one does a little more damage than the previous one. But, again, I'll give credit where credit's due. Ac allies have captured two victory points. And with those victory points, they'll start ticking down against the Axis. And they need to. They really need to put the pressure back on as they're 150 points behind. But luckily with this, they might be able to do exactly that. Now, one thing I'll say is not Aiden has a fantastic frontline force. Look at this. Three Grandier squads, nearly all vetted with the Panzer Grandier squad too. Hot. Dang, that's some good infantry right there. All right. Meanwhile, we have a cache going down. Again, trying to get some resources. The allies have yet to put down caches, so interesting enough. Again, bunker still here protecting. Shock troops grabbing territory. Pans Fork trying to go deal with that. Battle looks like there might be a, uh, a small engagement on the right-hand side. Let's see. Oh, Saddam pushing in. No, a negative cover, which is bad because, you know, the 50 cal and everything else shooting you. Gets back in the building. Will Sadan push back? Yag Panzer trying to come in. Hits target. Yeah, Jaeger uh, infantry trying to fight that infantry. Grenade on the Volk squad gets a model. Volk squad trying to again another one trying to help push back the Rifleman squad. But luckily, good cover and good weapons are keeping them back. Hold on, something just died. Mortar carriage died. Oh, it died in mid. Uh, to what? Oh, pack gun? No, pack gun barely got it. Maybe it was a Panzerfaust. I think it was a Mass Panzerfaust on it. All right, hey, you got the, you got the beast. You got the uh, you know the, the small armored unit. That's a good win. Meanwhile, Captain looks like he might bite it. Come on, retreat, man. All right, does retreat. Good. Ice Hour does get his men out of there. He doesn't have a. 
Yo, know, I think three frontline infantry. So yeah, he really can't lose anymore in order to keep this going. He really needs to make sure that they are in a good position. Now, he is healing close to the front. Uh, that's a bit of a risky maneuver right there, to be honest. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Anyway, Ally is trying to retake mid. And that would pretty much dominate the entire map. Of, unless Shinobi Warrior can take the right. Which looks like it might be able to with the Sherman not able to move. Hold on. Artillery is coming on in. Panzerwerfer has been created by not Aiden. So, okay. A little bit of an arty fest going on. But so far, the RD has gotten a total of six kills this game. So, really, really... Really important to uh, winning so far. Uh, more riflemen coming on the field, and Isaur is a really good army, all things considered. And I do like how he's slowly upgrading them, even with the more limited munitions. Uh, Big Daddy has yet to upgrade his troops uh, to like uh, maximum combat potential with seven men or PPSHs, you know, something like that. But what he is doing is, uh, let's see, what can we see here? He's getting another T-34. So he's getting a good armored force. And one Yagpons just gonna have a rough time. T-34 actually, oh my god, great shot with the M1, knocking out the main gun. T-34, again, helping to protect this right-hand side. Sherman looks like it took some hits from the Yagpanzer, but again, they came at the nick of time with the AT gun to really keep the Yagpanzer back from doing a lot of damage. So really good job there. Alrighty. So, now, what do we have in, in, in store? The Axis still have more uh, population than the Axis, but I'll be curious to see how long that currently lasts. Where is that Goliath, by the way? Oh, God! Alright, let's keep it away from anything valuable, alright? Recon goes overhead. He might have spotted a lot of these units. Armor is pushing on in. T-34 advancing, at least trying to kill the Panzer II. He might be able to do that. One last shot would do it. Airstrike coming on in. Stormvik strike. Gets the Panzer too. Shinobi re not retreating fast enough. Obel Sedan as well taking a lot of hits. Infantry being smashed by the plane and those strays. Absolutely, this is a retreating action right now. And all the infantry are running for their lives. I believe anti-air is in effect, so that might shoot down some of the Sturmoviks if they're lucky. Let's just hope it doesn't hit one of their teammates. Or they just both crash in the same spot. It's like Rodan. One Rodan dies in the lava. No, I can't. I must die with you. That's a that's a Godzilla reference for a lot of you guys. Hold on, we have a dive attempt. T-34 going in for a Jagdpanzer. Unfortunately, he didn't realize how quickly that thing would be repaired, I think. That we might be trying to go for the Stuka that fire. One of the two. Either way, T-34 can have a rough time because the Yagpanzer has some good front armor. T-34 have a hard time penning. The problem is, well, it can't turn its barrel. Luckily, Panzer Four coming in to save his best buddy. But what's his Sherman coming in as well? Bad timing. Does get out of there. Yagpanzer took a couple scrapes, but nothing too severe. Both squads up to Vet 5. Nice job, Shinobi. Um, how it's not Aiden doing? Oh, he, again, he lost one of his Grandier squads, but 26 kills, also nothing to see. Is that Conscript 16? Also very good. Another T-34 being made. Right side is pretty much fallen. We have this Goliath sneaking around enemy lines, although it looks like, a ca it, looks like it was found. Hide! 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 You're gonna be still seen! Well, you know, I, uh, I tried. I, I, I try I try to give it it's like do, but unfortunately the god is like, no, I'm just gonna die. Let's see, on the left hand side, shock troops going in, heads grenadier squad trying to hold out this sector again, but if he's not microing, this grenade could Oh good, he gets out of there just nick of time, gets back in. Not even like, see, I can do the in and out building stuff too. Anyway, Volk Squad pushing on right, Grandier Squad trying to push mid. S 5 still there, but multiple conscript squads are coming into support. Might be a little bit uh, iffy for the Germans right now. We have another cache going down. Uh, probably needs to make some additional cover to protect it from an SVD-5 shot or two. At, at least until reinforcements could have come. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we ourselves a Tiger tank. Alright. We'll see how well this goes. Also, Dotton and Jaeger infantry trying to take right again. Uh, Sherman healing on the front. I feel like that's going to bite him eventually. If that, if that Sherman keeps healing on the front, do you know what I mean? Like, eventually an infantry squad is going to pick him off and be like, oh, free Sherman. But, hey, that's just me. 
Now, what do we got here? Uh, Suka opening fire. Please let it be somewhere good. Maybe the engineer? Alright, got some good hits on the engineer in T-34. He's now up to event one with nine kills. Tiger Tank trying to hold mid. But what's this? Ice Hour brings in a Pershing. So I might have a Pershing versus Tiger battle going on right now. And again, both of them are very good against infantry. I, I should I should put this very uh, I should clearly say this. That yes, uh, like I know because a lot of some people say that it's not good to get a heavy tank. However, may not be best to get a heavy tank, but oh, great shots right there uh, of like that. Unless you're doing a specific target, in this case, infantry doesn't make sense for him to fight other armored units when they're really really good against infantry. So yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Pershing diving for some reason. I have no idea why. Tiger Tank, though, is injured. Luckily, bounces the shot. Pack Gun, Pack Gun also bounces. And uh, Pershing gets out of there relatively A-OK. -okay. Actually, Pershing hits the bunker, of all things. AT Gun, oh. gun opening fire. Sorry, guys. That was uh, Corgi just trying to say hello. Alas, the Panzer IV did bite it from the AT gun. That's unfortunate. And artillery from the Major coming down, which is causing some issues. Right inside, though, we have a push. Panthers on the field with the Vet 2 Jagdpons are pushing on the right. AT guns have no infantry to support them and have to pull back. All the infantry had to retreat from earlier. And both squads are still hanging out trying to provide that fire support. Certain Pioneers leading the way. I, I don't think there's any mines in their path. I don't think he's picked it that long from the place mines. But Panther is getting some great shots on the half track, slowly retreating because there's something in front of it. Sherman's on standby, but it can't stand up to a, a Panther. Panther coming at the right time. Doing the, uh, a perfect maneuver. Unfortunately, a lot of AT gun shots are still uh, hitting it. Again, M1 was able to reposition. Should probably be using some additional uh, rounds. But hey, he's doing fine right now. Sherman as well getting some decent hits in. Last shot, looks like it does miss. So that's pretty good. And Panther won't get out of there in one piece. But Tiger's coming in now. S-85 though repositioning to hold back the Tiger. Conscript's holding mid. And right now the Allies have lowered the point value to about 80 points in between. So cutting it in half. So really, really good job on their front respectively. Stuka opening fire. Oh, can we get that? Yes! Great job by the Stuka. Killing the squad that was housing the half track removing its veterancy and uh causing a nice little win for the axis because now they have uh two things one no more anti-air for the allies at least for this moment he could use rashlons but again he's wait you know using a squad up but anyway uh that would allow his sector assault and also would allow the nuclear air support if the again only if the anti-air air gun is uh, uh, uh sorry unoperational or not operational, sorry. Uh, continued. Those planes could absolutely wreck the uh, allies. Because they have no other anti-air. As far as I can see. No, they don't. Alright, so that, that could be good. Shinobi grabbing right. Rifleman trying to push on in. Again, no upgrades. He really should. Oh, okay, so he's slowly doing it. He's slowly upgrading his men with bars and such. So, not, not too bad. Uh, Tiger tank on standby. Where's that Pershing? Okay, Pershing's still back there. Just chilling. So again, he does have a good amount of AT, and I do like how he still has the German AT gun. That, I mean, like, that's a nice little win. That's a nice little win. So, at the very least, he'll be able to, uh, you know, do a decent amount of damage. So. Uh, not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby. Alrighty, so. Sherman uh, now engaging the Jagdpanzer. Bad idea. Volk Squad does get pushed back, though. He, Sherman's up to 11 kills, so at least he's doing something. At least, you know, he's, he's giving it his all. You know, our Kenworth is pushed back. That's one AT gun. Uh, where's the M1? M1 is back at base, so Sherman is undefended. And actually boxed in right now, especially if he gets some additional squads over. He can maybe pin it. I think he realizes this, but a little pathfinding might be causing him an error. Panther kind of coming up behind the Jagdpanzer a little bit. Pershing, though... Bounces off the Panther. Panther misses though. Bad. Oh no. AT gun. Oh, AT grenade hits it. Engine critical. The Ogpons are coming against the Panzer IV. They need something right now to help against the Sherman. 
I'm sorry, the, the Pershing. Sherman's actually pulling back and uh, helping out the M1, which is now getting in sight. Uh, oh my god, Pershing dominating the Volk Squad. Gets a Faust, though. Will cripple its engine. And we have strikes coming in. Close air support is inbound, ladies and gentlemen. Can they... Oh, good snook on the right. Kill support weaponry and the Major. Play... Uh, oh my god, it's barely alive. Coming on in. Gets a shot and the plane crashes for good measure. They really want that thing dead. Plane crashes into the building. Let's make things awesome. Alright, unfortunately Sherman diving the Yagponser. This could be a nice little counter attack. Can he neutralize it? Nice hit. Actually, airstrike helps neutralize uh, the Axis armor. Good job. That M1 has been a boss this game. And Panther goes down too. Again, help AT grenade, from, I'm assuming from that, maybe? Or whatever. Uh, Sherman comes in, definitely helps. Neutralize it, e even though it lost its main gun after that shot. Again, very lucky counterattack. Shinobi Warrior losing all of his armor. Luckily, gave himself a Panther in the meantime. Let's see. I have no idea why he used what to what, so. I think he just made it prop practice. Yeah, okay, so he 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 didn't he didn't house the half track yet. The half track is not being housed. Someone said uh, I think he's waiting for the Rashlon squad. He just wanted to protect it against some infantry that could have come near it. I'm assuming. But anyway, uh yeah, so the let's double check uh Ice Hour. Ice Hour can't deploy any a Sherman. Uh what well, no sorry, a Pershing, not Sherman. I keep messing it up. He can't deploy a Pershing right now. So he's in that little bit of a negative, but he still has this uh, Sherman, which is, by God, doing incredible this game. Wait, what? What? How did how did Shinobi get a T thirty four? Did it dive? It ha it has a broken engine, so it couldn't have been moving it that long. It had to have dived and then got the recruits. And now Shinobi has got himself a new Panther and a Sherman. I need a drink. What the hell? All right. Why not? Why not, ladies and gentlemen? Rangers coming on with bazookas. That could be incredibly deadly. Luckily, they are suppressed, which will help a little bit. Tiger and T-34 do quite a bit of damage to them while suppressed, and they'll be pushed back. They have Bunker right here doing so. Conscript's hitting the MG. We have, uh, actually, armor on the left. A Brumbar has been deployed. Interesting. Not able to kill it, though. Although, they'll probably be able to re-grab uh, those munitions. Conscript just having a field day. A T-grenade on... No, he's doing a Molotov on the, on the mortar. I'm oh, sorry, the mortar. The MG. This is how rusty I am. Actually, you can do a Molotov on the Bunker. That could help if his S-25 can't kill it. Artillery is actually now on the field. Interesting. So yeah, he has the MO20. Kind of um, hitting the base, maybe? No, base is not under fire. So I'm assuming it hit here. But yeah, a Conscript Squad could throw the T-Grenade on the Tiger if you want to. A little bit risky getting that close, but... He does throw it. He will cripple the Tiger, and they probably will lose the squad. That's why it's risky. Grandier Squad will probably pick him off, I assume. Grandier Squad will not pick him off. What are you doing? Alright. Uh, he lives. But, that being said, I'm assuming uh, Shinobi also got his T-34. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have a T-34 on the uh, German side. Alright. We have a Panther engaging the right. Suka in his own units and missing the AT gun. He did push back a Rifleman Squad, so I guess that's a win. Also, we got another Volk Squad. So, again, three Volk, one Obsidian, one Jaeger. Oh my god, Big Daddy says, all right, I'm tired of this. Time to go mass mobilization of, or, or, or Soviet industry, I guess. And yeah, let's just deploy every T-34 possible. Pershing now trying to hold back a T-34 and a Panther. Uh, luckily, T-Gun having a good time against that T-34. Oh, get out of there, man. Oh, there goes the T-34. It, it left as quickly as it came. AT gun barely make it out. Again, that's a huge target. Kill that Vet 3 squad. My lord. He has done so much damage. Rakan Whiffer as well being pushed back by the infantry. Need to. Rakan Whiffer, great shot on the Panther. 
Uh, so again, because again, it's just intimidation. It's pushing it back. Allies, though, are still down for the most part. Um, allies are down to 140. Axis at 295. So they still need control of mid. And again, and or Ice Hour needs to hold right. Which, Shinobi has been a... Uh, very annoying in that regard. But yeah. I mean, to be fair, the American has no fuel. Uh, chat, but the American deployed a Pershing. That's why he has no fuel. Because this thing costs 230 manpower. Uh, sorry, fuel. Oh my god. I am losing it today. 230 fuel he has. So again, he just... Again, got neutralized. Great shot with the Pershing. Alright, brought down the half health. Wait, we have a flank with a Brumbar? What? Brumbar going out against the Howitzer. He's like, I'm the only piece of artillery on this map, buddy. What about the Stuka? What about the Stuka? Alright, so saw artillery currently hitting the, you know, heavy artillery. Uh, they also have, uh, you know, Stuka close air support coming on in to help hit the armor. The Soviets seem to be not recognizing the Brumbar's... Well, presence. Planes are flying overhead. T-34 is finally moving on in. I want to see how this Brumbar tries to escape. T-34s are advancing. We have three T-34s. He ran the Arty! Why? Why did you ram the... Oh my god, you killed the Arty! Oh my god. It wasn't worth the Brumbar. But holy god, that was funny. Oh, T-34 is like, I got this! Boing! Oh, man. Oh, that's... I mean... It, it, all right, it is a little funny, but I what I will say though is we're literally about to see three t-34s probably dive a tiger So if anyone wanted to see the the whole Soviet industry at work, you're about to get it like you are uh, very close to getting it Oh my god a uh, ranger squad coming on the right hand side Luckily, Tiger and Infantry pushed it back. We have the Jaeger squad. Again, Vet 4. I've really talked about this squad, but it's done a really, really good amount of work at picking off the enemy. Tw uh, again, we have like 22 kills with it. Oba Sudan now coming on in. Pershing trying to assist. Rifleman barely holding on. Uh, probably needs to retreat. Yeah, he's probably going to lose that unless he gets a good shot with the Oba Sudan. Oh, great shot on the Oba Sudan and the Rifleman escapes. Pershing just saying, uh, no, and just executing, uh, Shinobi's probably most powerful squad, if I'm going by, like, just on the, uh, just, again, even though the Volk squads are the higher vetted, I think the Wilson is the most power, like, the best infantry unit, um, that he could throw. So, yeah, that's a problem. Alright, Stuka, vet 2, 25 kills. It's only redeemed itself. I'm assuming he has support equipment. No, it's paying the half-track, which died. I missed out, died, but... Okay. Grenade doing a little bit of damage. Pershing as well getting a nice little shot. Rangers trying to hold. Again, they have mostly bazookas, so they're not doing much. But hey, they're trying. They're holding. Alrighty, so what are we looking at right now? So we still have one Panther and a Stuka. It looks like Shinobi uh, could deploy another Panther. But so far, not much. We have the Tiger Tank, Veteran T2 with 21 kills, holding mid. Panzer for opening fire, close range. Oh, he ru runs into it! And he gets a couple models based on the artillery. Grandiers might be able to pick off a concert squad. Come on. He does! Great shot! With the Grandier squad, neutralize it. Planes coming in. Pershing having a really, really bad day with all those airstrikes. Trying to get out of there. Unfortunately, gets neutralized. And air support wins the day uh, against that Pershing. Now, Ice Hour doesn't have any other armor. He lost the, the Sherman, unfortunately. I don't know where, but I'm assuming somewhere. Uh, and he also, but he's slowly been changing out to Rangers with Bazooka Team, which does make it a credible threat if he can't be suppressed. So it looks like the right hand side is under his control. Now it's up to these T-34s to really, like, bring down the hammer. Again, we have the Panther. Oh, one T-34 is over here by itself, why? Uh, the other's gonna come over, or are they just gonna chill out in mid? It's like, guys! Guys! I need help! Guys! Guys! And, uh, yeah, here they come. No, uh, oh my god, not even a single, uh, penetration from that 1T34 before it dies from the front. 
Uh, luckily, T-34 coming on in. Uh, rear armor is now being shown, so they have a better shot on target. I have no idea. And they're getting it. Panther having a really rough time with those T-34s. T Mortar team as well coming on in. I love it. Two different directions. Come on. Panther's doing circles. Can he at least kill? No, he can't. He can't take out at least one T-34. Oh, well. Hey, uh, that was a good engagement by the Soviets. I guess he, I guess he lured them in. Me has enough for a few more T-34, so why not? Let's have a whole T-34 parade on this map. Now, luckily, allies do have the victory points, so they're pushing down the axis right now. Pan's Grenadiers pushing on in. Not much really stopping them. Grenade's gonna be thrown. AT get... Okay, at least he missed the grenade, but still gets hit by... Uh, so it's the mortar, which returns fire and almost kills him. T-34, by the way, uh, fed two, almost fed three. Pack gun opening fire, trying to kill that AT gun. T-34 trying to kill the pack. He might be able to. Nope, missed a shot. Get out of there, man. I'm sorry, you're calling in a Sturmovic strike against one AT gun? I guess he really wants it dead. There, it's dead. You're welcome. Now, let's see. A tiger just showing out. Ranger squad doing actually a lot of damage against the Double Panthers. Again, with the Bazooka teams, they are seriously a threat against armor. A lot, a lot of CD did the AT grenade against the one with no damage, so that way it didn't damage its engine. So they're going to escape. Stuka coming in. I'm assuming like right here. Oh, I was right. Ranger squad barely... With one model getting out of there, Rifleman does uh, dodge the barrage, so it keeps him in play. Grandier squad trying to capture the left-hand side with the Pioneer squad. Again, gonna help. That's more munitions for the Axis, which allows more airstrikes and victory points. So the Allies will probably be down to 100 points really soon. And uh, hopefully they can keep putting the pressure. Oh, hello, Mr. Saipan. I didn't even see you. I'm sorry. I, I, mi I missed your message. Dang it. Anyway, Rifleman uh, being pushed back by the Volk squads. Rekenwerfer hopefully recaptured from the American. I think that's the Rekenwerfer. Yeah, that's the Rekenwerfer from earlier, I want to say. So, hey, he got it back for the Americans. That's good. AT gun. Oh, man. It sucks he doesn't have the Vet 3-1 anymore. It, it truly is. Major uh, Veteran T2. I'll give him credit. But uh, it's not going to hold against, you know, a Vet 5 Jaeger squad. T-34, though, coming on in. It might do something. It's definitely doing something. Now, Vet-3, hot dog. It is uh, pretty damn good. S-85 and AT, going to really need to focus on Tiger. We have a Panther being developed. Shinobi's healing his stuff. Wait, what the hell? I have no idea where that... Oh, Suku is here. Oh, Ranger Squad came in a Bazooka, the Stuka. Good shot. Alrighty, that's, that was excellent. Now, he's being suppressed by the bunker a little bit. Hey, you have to worry. That's why you have to worry, right? Sometimes you have a ranger squad just pops up and, and fires a, a fantastic bazooka shot right into all your stuff. Now, good cutoff. Again, at least the axes aren't getting munitions and fuel. But the problem is, again, how long can he actually realistically hold that position? All right, bazooka teams fire one more time. Maybe. Maybe not. Retreat. Again, we have four T-34s on the field. He needs to heal this one. Uh, we could see a massive T-34 charge on the Tiger, I would assume. On the left, we have T-34 just running circles around the Grandier Squad, stopping a decap. Again, not bad if they want to keep it. But unfortunately, Panther comes on up. So yeah, T-34 is going to need to rapidly redeploy to go assist their uh, brother in arms. I'm also surprised the Soviet has not placed mines along this side. Or at least along the major route. Panther having a little more pathfinding issues. Again, Ram, you're about to die unless you can keep dodging, which we'll see. He stopped for a shot. He gets a shot. Again, good player. He stopped, lined up the shot so he had the best chance, and fired. Tiger stops the T-34 coming in along the side, so stops the reinforcements and helps his ally. Again, uh, Big Daddy could easily deploy more T-34s. But, again, doesn't have a ton of time. He's right now still down by half. 90 points to 180 or 187. Sherman trying to assist. 
Ranger squads, again, being brought in. But again, they're on the front, and I don't know why you're doing that, because you need the Rifleman to deal with the infantry. Then have the Ranger squad moving on up, because otherwise we'll keep firing bazooka shots at the infantry. Uh, Rifleman and Alas are unable to kill that squad. They're reloading. Fire. Couple shots, but not as much damage as they would have liked because of the bouncing. Oh, Officer Sadan fighting a Sherman. Not exactly a great combo. Panthers realizing uh, they're fighting mostly infantry. This may not be their day. Panzerwerfer coming on in. Dude, ah, you better get the best shot ever with this Panzerwerfer. Hold on. Point blank shot. But he realizes they're a bit too close and pulls back. Infantry still charging. We still have 18 grenades that could be fired. They are being fired right now. At the Panther? Yep. So not too shabby. Anyway, Gradier's opening fire against the conscripts trying to battle out mid, but again, alas, they're not in mid, so the conscripts can just decap it. T-34s, again, I feel like he hasn't had the opportunity to do that dive he's wanted to do, or like this big, major armored offensive. But at least they're on standby, and they can assist, hopefully killing a uh, Grandier squad. Conscript squad, they're barely alive. I don't know. Shock troops need to get in there. Um, right hand side's under German control. Or, sorry, allied control. What am I saying? Germans try to come back into gain control. Although Panther 4 now crippled along with the Panther. So only one Panther is operational for really, like, moving in there and assisting. s 85s also come in here to assist. A lot of AT. Where's the infantry? Like, where's the anti-infantry? All this is anti-armor. All of it is anti-armor. Okay, maybe not to Sherman, but, you know. Good luck with that. Uh, oh, here come the... Okay, here's some infantry. Not a lot, but at least it's something. I always think a screen of infantry is uh, really needed. Alright, T-34 trying to help. The others are still here. Get repairs on this one. He is. Shock troops grabbing mid. Again, it's now uh, literally 3-1 to one in terms of score. T-34 charging for a running attempt, but misses target and runs into a bunch of AT. Uh, he's going to die, isn't he? Oh, no, he's decrewed. He's decrewed. They can get it back, even though they lost all the veterancy. Uh, AT gun designed to focus on the rate of infantry rather than the armor. Not sure why. Uh, Rakan, we're hitting the S-85. I, uh, is there, yeah, he's hitting the S-85. I guess he, you want to move, man? You need to move! Can you move back... I love how he's like, okay, maybe not. Well, there goes two armored units from the Soviets. I feel like Big Daddy is, uh, now he's all cracked up to be. Grandier squad flanking up north. Again, putting a lot of pressure on multiple angles. Meanwhile, Panther is trying to push the right. Again, healing on the front. Could be spell doom and gloom. Tiger tank still in mid. It's only 21 kills. This Tiger tank has not gotten a lot of kills for the last, like, 10 minutes. Which is so weird. Bottom grenade hits the shock troops. That's possible. Oh, no. He retreats. That could have been another kill if he would have focused on for like a second. Artillery opening fire. Okay. Not bad. Got some kills right there. All right. All right. Nice shot with the tiger. Again, losing some things. Grenade being thrown, but it might have cost him. It does cost him a shock troop. Although, it looks like Big uh, Daddy is not backing down, deploying multiple T-34s. He'll have four, possibly, on the field. Now, if he can just keep them alive for one push, and I agree with that, or he just charges. Question, what do you... I mean, like, okay, maybe the bazooka team? Hold on. Let me, not, let me not spoke ill of this thing yet. He could actually kill this panther squad. Or panther... There goes the T-34. All the infantry's coming on in. The Tiger's coming in to help. This Panther's probably going to get out of there in one piece. He could dive it. It's a bad idea. That T-34 dies. This is about to be Fausted. So that was a ter- What was this dive? That was a terrible dive attempt. Jackson coming on in. Yeah, I don't know why you guys initiated the dive with, like, no infantry support at all to really speak of. Like, you had one ranger squad. Great. But that's not enough to kill a panther. Ugh. What are you gonna do? Alrighty. AT gun neutralized by the Obsidaten. Infantry blob coming into play. But, again. 
Uh, sure. We'll see how long that lasts when the enemy has, you know, armor superiority. Tiger, 26 kills, trying to help clear the infantry out of mid. Panzergrenadier, by the way, has 41 kills. Hot damn. He, where have you been? Also, uh, 2 2 2 still on the field. 44 kills for the Panzergrenadier squad. Uh, yeah, Big Daddy has lost pretty much his entire army. Ice Hours is well down. He's up to, like, 21 kills? Uh, 23 kills with his best unit. Uh, let's see. Shinobi, uh, in general, is 38 kills with his Jaeger Infantry Squad. Very nice. 35 kills with the Volk Squad. For Kenworth, we're up to Vet 4. I love how he's retreating all of them. I think that's... A lot of shots on target. Jackson trying to finish him off, but there's a Kenworth right there. Be careful, men. Be careful. T-34 coming in for a dive. Again, I, I, it's close enough to their lines. I get it. But the Tiger's now like, hey, buddy. Uh, you may want to run. All right. Let's... He's diving? Why are you diving? And the Tiger barely escapes that push and gets out of there. Your ramps have not been good today, man. Stop the ramming. All right, let's see. 35 kills for the Volk squad. 38 kills. So this, the Jaeger squad has 38 kills, respectively. Pretty damn good. And uh, great shot along the left. Great shot on the Jackson. Ranger squad hitting uh, the Panther as well. Not too shabby. Heads for trying to stop a decap. Manages to stop it in its tracks. We're now down to one T-34. He's getting more. Guys, just more T-34s. That's how we're going to win this war. Just all the T-34s. Uh, anyway, if you're wondering why or who won in this case and why, I think the Axis were way better at coordination and diving than the Allies. The Ally, I mean, don't get me wrong. The Axis effed up a lot of times. Like, not Aiden's Panther and Brumbar dive. I have no idea. They got some things, but still not worth the dives themselves. What I think they were able to do was they played upon uh, the axe. They, they played upon the allies' like need for pushing, and there's so many times the allies would do these weird pushes. I think that just help them out, like so many times. Also, some good already strikes with like the Stuka neutralizing the half track and such, like some really good plays. And the half track was critical because if the half track was still there, those planes could probably have not help kill the Pershing and such. So again, just little things here and there as well. But yeah, also, like, building up all these T-34s and not using them at once is a huge mistake. Especially when the enemy has so much better armor than you. Like... Bundle grenade being thrown, but unfortunately not hitting the retreat path. Still, allies are slowly being worn down. And yeah, they're absolutely being torn apart. Good plays across the board. Good plays. Oh my god, not the 2 2 2! Mass bazooka shot at the last second. Panzerwerfer comes on and tries to stop the infantry. And that's it. That is game. So let's double check the after action report, shall we? And let's see how things turned on out for the. Uh, well, for, uh, for uh, each side. Shinobi Warrior, by the way, thank you for submitting this replay and for being an awesome Before Shun supporter. If you want to support the channel, hit the follow button, subscribe, do what you need to. But again, really truly appreciate your support, Shinobi. Anyway, what are we looking here? Top kills goes to Not Aiden. 268 kills. Very nice. Shinobi, 66,000 kills. Although not the most, Ice Hour got 73,000 damage and most kills. Yeah, the weakest player was Big Daddy. Now, again, let's double check one thing real quick. Big Daddy, you had top kills. Uh, you had 40 kills with the T-34s, 15,000 damage, but you lost eight of them. Yeah, not not really worth it, man. Not really worth it. That and I bug splatted, of course. But I, at least I was right before it bug splatted. The best thing was that AT gun. The AT gun did a really really good job overall. Anyway, guys, it's gonna be it for this replay. I hope you enjoyed. Hello, everyone. This is Grayshaw. If you want to check out previous content, video links will be above, including my Patreon link, which. Again, many people support, including Afria, Milan, Joey G240, Samuel McKinney, 
Seth Coopers, Anton Bashara, Pyro Shark, Ace, Fall of Man, Jacob Ozwai to round it out. Thank you guys so much for your incredible support. If you want to be a patron, you can join. Otherwise, thank you to my current patrons. You guys rock and help me do what I do best. Anyway, this has been Grayshaw17, and I'll see all of you next time.